Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to swap an element. And this is useful if you need to switch two locations in the list or if you need to swap two variables. So let's just work with a variable for now and then we'll show you how to do it in a list. This is foundational if you want to reverse a list manually. We're going to be doing that in the next video. So stay tuned for that if that's what you're looking for, if you're into the algorithm stuff. But for now we're just going to work with swapping. So let's say we have two people. So me and we'll go with you. And of course you are a subscriber, right? That's what I thought. So if we wanted to switch these pieces of data, here's how you would do it. To do this, you can say me comma you and assign it you comma me. And then after this, we're going to say print me and you. And what the heck, let's go all out. We're gonna print that before too so we can see the magical transformation. And there you go, to start it says Caleb and then subscriber, and then afterwards it says subscriber and Caleb. So doing it in Python is actually very simple, no harder than that, but there's actually another way to swap elements that I wanna teach you that maybe you will see in code or if you want to adapt this to another programming language, and that is using a temporary variable. So what we can do is we can say temp and assign it to me, and then replace me with you, and then assign a value to you, but we can't use me because we replaced it, right? So we would just use temp. And this should do the same exact thing. And there you go, you can see the data is swapped. Now let's talk about how to do this with a list. It's a very similar thing, except we're gonna use indexes now. So let's say we wanted to replace some data in here, and I'm actually gonna add a little bit more all right, so I expanded our list, and let's say I want to swap B with G. And this is the basis for a reverse algorithm. We're pretty much gonna take all these elements and swap them with these elements over here, one by one, almost like a mirror, like flipped over. So let's just try to do this a little bit more dynamically. So to grab that B there, let's say we're going to grab it by index, and I'm gonna use a variable for this just to generalize it. We would say index is one. So data of index that's going to be B. If we wanted to grab the second element from the right here, what we can do is we can actually say data of negative index minus one. So maybe this sounds like black magic to you, so I'm just gonna print this out so we can see it. We will print both of these elements like so. And printing this now, we get B and G. So that's how you grab those elements. You can see they're both one from the edge. If you wanted to swap them, here's how you're gonna do it. Data of index, comma, data of negative index minus one, and then flip them after the assignment operator. So data of negative index minus one, comma, data of index. So yeah, very verbose, but it should get the trick done. And then we're going to print the data after as well. So I'll bring that down here and print it. And running it before we got BG, and now we got GB. So it works. If you're a little bit confused on this whole negative index minus one thing, let me just explain real quick. Well, this here is index one. But we can't just use negative one on the other side because it actually starts from negative one when we're going from the right. And the whole reason behind that is because if it was the same as on the left, we would have negative zero. But negative zero and zero are actually the same thing. There's no concept of negative zero here. So since it's one base coming from the right and zero base coming from the left, we actually need to shift it over one left by subtracting one. So that's where the negative one comes from and it should work for pretty much anything. So if we wanted to swap the first elements, all we would do is 